Hello and welcome to Edukimi's YouTube channel. My name is Harsh Singh and in this video we shall discuss the featured news for 11th September 2021. The featured news for today is on methanol economy. In context of BHEL developing a technology to use coal, high ash coal, to convert it to methanol as a fuel, we will understand the whole context of methanol economy. Now, methanol economy is not only about clean energy, it is also about replacing the energy that we import from abroad and producing it right in India. There are additional advantages of replacing it with methanol. And in this article, we will also understand what are the issues with methanol. We have got abundant coal resources in India. However, with the spur in the technology to use greener fuel, now coal is becoming more redundant. And that is the reason that India is trying to innovate ways in which coal can again be utilized in a cleaner form. And one of the important mechanisms is the use of coal for gasification. Coal gasification. So this is an important term that is very relevant for the present India in the coming year for UPSC exam also. Now in this, coal is converted into cleaner form of energy. Now here we are talking of methanol, conversion into met methanol. So earlier coal used to release a lot of greenhouse gases on burning. Now when coal is converted to methanol, this the global warming will not happen because methanol will not be releasing those kind of byproducts, right? So this is one advantage. Now, there are many, many other advantages of methanol as a fuel. First advantage is the feedstock. The feedstock for methanol production is not only coal. It can also be produced with natural gas. It can also be produced with biota products. That means any product which has been a kitchen waste or agricultural waste, they can also be utilized. So, coal is something that India has. Natural gas, we import quite, quite a lot of it. And biota, the whole country, urban, rural has it. So, feedstock is not an issue. Look at the availability. It is available throughout the country, right? And variety is also there. Now, this is not the traditional petrol which is available at only certain places. This will be available at many other places. This is one advantage. Second, cheaper to produce. This technology is cheaper to produce than uh, the traditional modes in the long run. And the third one, it reduces India's import burden because India can start production at India itself. So this is second. The third one, wider degree of utility. Now, all the kind of transportation, all the kind of industrial mechanism, they can utilize this form of energy. Now, be it uh, the road transport, they can utilize it by blending petrol with ethanol, methanol. They can also use it in the train. The train engines, the diesel engines can be replaced with methanol blended engines. Not only that, the marine transport also. And now look at the advantages since the emission is less, since the particulate matter coming out is very less, since the suit coming out is very less, it is also environmental friendly, right? And also, another additional advantage is it, 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 it's, it can be blended with uh, the LPG as well. So it can be used in cooking fuel also. So this is another advantage. Look at another one, right? It has got low inflammability, right? So it is a cleaner source of energy, as we quickly discussed. The use of methanol is advantageous in several other ways. It will also provide employment in a new in a new mechanism, in a new mechanism to develop renewable energy. Not only that, it can also be used to produce chemicals, right? And imagine if coal is being utilized right now to produce methanol, the coal here will be sequestered, the carbon here will be sequestered, right? So this is how we can see that this is a lot more cleaner fuel than what we have right now. India is this time to become the third biggest consumer of the conventional form of energy. And in this context, we will need to replace the conventional energy, the dirty fuel, from the cleaner one. So that is why we need technology like methanol as well. But there are certain disadvantages as well. Presently, we do not have technology to make this process sustainably scalable. So scalability is an issue because of the technology constraints right now. Also, methanol as a fuel is not as good for the engines as petrol is because the refinement in those uh, petrol and diesel are far better than methanol. This technology, half of it will have to be imported. Why? Because natural gas is largely available outside India itself. India does not have as many reservoirs for natural gas as Middle East has. So again, we are getting dependent, right? Now, technology right now is expensive. And also, this is more harmful to humans in case humans ingest this gas, right? So these are the issues with it. What is the way forward? Way forward right now is that countries like Iran, Qatar, now these are the places where this methanol economy can start. Why? Because these are the places where we have natural gas in excess and India has got these good relations also these, with these countries. So India can initiate this economy from there and India can learn this technology right from there, right? So this is how we have understood what is this methanol economy about and how it 
it can be advantageous, what are the various issues related to it, right? And uh, in conclusion, all you got to say that India is said to be one of the countries which will have high energy demands in the coming 25 to 30 years owing to its development. And therefore, we need alternate forms of fuel for the country's needs. In this context, all I would like you to take is 30 seconds to understand the whole process of methanol economy. And after that, you can attempt this question. The question says, explain how methanol can aid the economy of India. What are the major roadblocks to methanol economy? If you like this video, if you like our attempt, do share some love on us. Do likes, comments and shares. If you subscribe to the channel, you will receive timely updates. Thanks for watching.